everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the 32nd episode here of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much once again for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I really do appreciate it. Now, of course, if you are new to this series and this is the first video you're watching on my channel, do consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on my future content. Now, today, my friends, today is Fishron Day. That is right. I've got to be honest, Duke Fishron in expert mode is usually the one boss that I wind up dreading having to take down because their third phase is insanely difficult to dodge. So, as you guys may be able to notice in my inventory and my gear set, I've got myself a ranged loadout. We've got ourselves the frost armor back out. We've got ourselves the ranger emblem recon scope. We've got the master ninja gear on as well. And I managed to get an unreal mega shark. We're going to be using that in conjunction with chlorophyte bullets. But in addition to that, we also have a stinger and a nail gun. But I've got to be honest, I feel like maybe the nail gun might do even better than everything else. I mean, come on, 149 range damage plus 47 range damage. Yeah, that's near 200 damage, isn't it? That is nearly 200 damage. And then obviously you got to consider the fact that, you know, you get explosive damage as well. Yeah, guys, if we can't take down fish run today, then there is something seriously, seriously wrong with this. You know what I'm saying? So what we need to do, of course, is we need to start going ahead and trying to farm out for one of those little dudes. Right, so, yep, we do have the guy to crit a companionship. And, of course, what that means is that we won't wind up accidentally killing a truffle worm. Okay, so, yeah, this should be fairly simple in the grand scheme of things. If we were to merely just sort of hang around here, we should wind up finding a truffle worm pretty darn quick, I would imagine. Now that these biomes are way, way bigger compared to how big they were in 1.3, yeah, getting truffle worms should be way easier. So we've just got to keep an eye on the rare creature detector, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to find a truffle worm real quick like. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's have one. Let's have one. Let's have one. I need it. I need it. Hey, guys. Should we test out the dam? Oh, God. Okay. Yep. That's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting to take that much damage, but hey-ho. There we go. <laughs> hey. There. Oh, hang on. Hang on. He, he's be, he be dropping down. There we are. Our first one. You know what we're going to do, though? We are going to go for maybe three. Should we go for three truffle worms? Three chances at trying to take down the Duke of Fishy Ron. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good idea. Green fairy. Uh, man, I don't need them. Hey, buddy. I'm going to... Wait, I can't... I can't capture it. Ah, oh, you suck. Corruption key? Holy crap! Ha! Ha ha! Wow, okay. Was not expecting to find that bad boy today. You know what? That thing could wind up being very, very good against Duke Fishron. The almighty Duke. Because I'm pretty sure the projectiles from that will actually go ahead and home in on the Duke. So, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Like, the last five truffle worms that have come into existence have all died because of some stupid idiot enemy that freaking just walks over them. Ah, that's really annoying. Oh, there we are. Number two. Finally. Wow, that actually took a very long time. As I mentioned, they keep spawning in and then some bugger just comes in and kills them. It's very, very annoying. But, ah, oh well, we'll get there eventually, huh? We're looking for one more, ideally. Oh. And we've got pirates. In fact, you know what? That could be a blessing in disguise because we still don't have a discount card. Ah. Also, I just came to the realization there's one of these guys down here. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's get yourself into a nice open space. And we'll show you who's boss around here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show him his boss. Show him his boss. And there we go. That would be me. Wait, there's a truffle worm somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Nice. All right. We just achieved all of our goals in one foul swoop, pretty much. <laughs> all right. Over to uh, somewhere. Woo! All right. Time for everybody to die. Ah, uh, yep. 
Make that make me die. Yay. I'm so great at this game. Right. Let's try and think about this. What's going to be the easiest way to do this thing, huh? So they can't get through the houses if I'm smart. Which, let's be honest, I'm really not. Uh, so, if I was to go ahead and block... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to be smart about this. I'm trying to block these things off entirely. There we are. Uh, we're going to block off this house as well. Right. And then maybe we sort of pop over to our right. And then we do most of the fighting in here. Yeah. All right. Nice open area. What do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? Pretty good idea, isn't it? All right. Let's do this thing. Whoa. Damage, damage, damage. Oh, snappers. Yep, this will do nicely. We're looking more than anything for the discount card, ladies and gentlemen. There's even a slight possibility I can get that bad boy. I'm about to be the happiest guy in the entire world. The good news is that we're able to take down the pirate captains way, way easier now. So, you know, definitely can't complain about it. Yeah. Oh, and that's another death. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> the death count is going to go insane today, isn't it? Ugh, oh, they have to edit all these things in manually, man. You think that the death count just happens? No, your boy has to edit them in. Ah, oh, I'm making my edit time way, way higher because of it. Oh, dear. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we're just going to continue, aren't we? Hey, 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 get out of here. Go on, sick him. Get out of here. Every single one of you needs to die. There we are. Golden bookcase. Okay, I mean, that is kind of cool, I won't lie. But, uh, no! No! Okay, there we go. Anything else for anything else? Not really. Okay. Um, oh, man, there's going to be a lot of stuff on the floor to pick up, huh? Oh, man, I would not mind being able to heal right about now, but, uh, sadly, it is not going to be, is it? When you realize that you should put your lucky coin on. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? We managed to go ahead and get it, so, yeah. We should probably start actually using it in events. Like, you know, a, a, a proper person would. Ah, no, sir. No, oh, darn it. Did anything drop over there? No. You'd have thought I'd have gotten way better at, uh, you know, trying to survive against the thing that is, well, these guys. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. You expect me to learn anything? You guys are funny. You guys are very cute for thinking that. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, man. Uh, you know what? For once, I really hope that the pirate captain picks up some of my money because then I might just have a chance of getting it back. And then some. <laughs> oh, you think I'm down and out? Nah, fam, you are very much mistaken. <laughs> Your boy just keeps coming back stronger than ever. <laughs> oh. Man, these guys are getting on my nerves, actually. <laughs> oh, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, right, how the devil are we going to do this? I honestly feel like using this thing might just be in our best interest. Yes, yes, explode, explodify it to the maximum degree. Yeah. All right, witnessing the true power that is the freaking uh, thing here. Yeah, 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 the nail gun. you got to love it. There we are. Go on, and that is that. There we are. The pirates are out the game. Ha <laughs> ha. You can't take me out, you sons of guns. Well, I mean, I guess, strictly speaking, they did take me out many times, in fact. Oh, to the point where I think this is now classed as a graveyard biome. <laughs> Rip. Uh-oh. <laughs> I done goofed here, didn't I? <laughs> now, I confess, I don't remember seeing any sort of pickup item that said, uh, you know, the discount card. However, I have been surprised before by not paying attention to what's going on. So you never know. I might have actually picked one up and I didn't even know about it. I mean, it's perfectly possible. Right. Where is our golden furniture chest? Where's the pirate invasion? There it is. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's so much stuff going on. Uh, we've got banners. We've got shirts. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, we've gotten most of the stuff done that we wanted to do. So I'm, like, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right. So popping into here. Discount card question mark. No, we do have a cutlass. Ah, uh, that's about it, really. Alrighty, guys. Time to start our preparations for the Duke boy. The Duke of Dukes. The fish run, lad. Yeah, we're going to get this thing on the way, huh? So, let's pop into here. We're going for a ranger loadout this time. However, that does not mean that I'm not going to be going ahead and making wrath and endurance potions. I mean, 
they're just like one of the best things to have, aren't they? Summoning potions. You know what? I'm going to do that as well. I mean, it's always good to have a little bit extra damage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Hunter potion, archery potion. We're not really going to be using arrows, so I don't think that really applies. However, I don't know if it applies to like nails and or stinger bolts. Ah, what do you guys think? Should we just use them just in case? See what happens. Uh, Thorns Potion we've got going on already. Uh, magic Power, don't really care about that. Uh, we will go and make ourselves regen potions. And honestly, I mean, that within itself might do the job. Huh. All right, so all we need to do now is we need to get ourselves over to the left-hand ocean, which, of course, is very, very easy now that we have a conch, which we got pretty early on. And, yeah, we should be able to get this thing set up pretty darn quick-like and be on our merry way. So before we do that, of course, what I am going to do is I am going to whip up these two bad boys. Yes, that is a good idea. And then what we're going to do is pop over to the left-hand ocean. There we are. I mean, to be honest... We could just walk on the water here. We may need a second platform, though. I don't mind just being able to walk on the water. I think that's actually a pretty good way to go. Uh, we already... Uh, I don't know, man. Do we want to, like, get rid of this little setup? This was my Blood Moon fishing setup, for those of you guys who can't remember. Uh, but for now, I think it might be a good idea to just do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of jiggery-pokery. Oh, wait. That is... What? I didn't know that had a gravity thing going on. Huh. All right, well, for now, we're just going to do a little bit of that. We'll go and place down uh, this bad boy, uh, this bad boy, and then also uh, this bad boy. And then we're going to start figuring out just how high up we want to go with these platforms here. I mean, I've got to be honest, I don't really know just how big I need to go with this thing. But uh, what I will do is I'll put the campfire right there. I'll put a bewitching table here. And, of course, the almighty ammo box. And, yeah, I mean, all things considered... We should be just about ready to do this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom way out here. I mean, do you know what? That's actually a pretty good sized platform. I think we might actually be able to, you know, give this thing a really good shot. So what we're going to do is begin. So let's get all of our buffs on. Let's make sure we've got our little Kato right there. And then we need to whip this bad. Wait, no, hang on. That one out. <laughs> and then we're just going to get this thing rolling and just see what happens, basically. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, Duke Fish Run, attempt number one. Woo! Here we go. How's it going? We got chicken nuggets, apparently. That's kind of interesting. All right, so far, so good, huh? So far, so good. Look at that health bar. All right, all right, I, I like it, I like it. Not done too bad so far. Not done too bad at all, actually. Okay, okay. Second phase is already coming into effect here. Okay, and any second now. There we are. Now, this is where you get the damage in. There we go. That's a good amount of damage right there. All right, let's be honest. It is the whopping, whopping great tornadoes that are going to be doing the damage. Dude, I've got to say, so far, this has just been ridiculously easy. I'm not even kidding. Okay, right. So, this is where things start getting really tasty. Okay. It's possible. Come on, come on. What? Whoa! Guys, drop a like rating. Do it now. Please. I deserve it. I just took down Duke Fish Run with just. We did it first time. <laughs> we got the trophy from it as well. What the devil, dude? Holy crap. Holy crap. We did it first time. Holy mother of God. Wow. Wow. Words don't cover it, guys. Words do not cover it. You know what? I'm feeling so freaking confident. We're going to do it again. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, my word. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure that our potion sickness is worn off. And yeah, our health is pretty much back up to max here. So I tell you what, let's do it again. <laughs> We did it first time. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I am absolutely chuffed. All right. Back to it, baby. Back to it. Oh, my God. The nail gun, guys. What a nail biting weapon. Oh, it's so great, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe we did that. We did it first time. Oh, my God. That's one out of one so far. One nil to little old Pythonator. Yeah. Yeah. 1-0 to me, guys. 1-0 to me. I mean, come on. 
as uh, as score lines go, we ain't doing too bad, huh? All right, come on, come on. Oh, he's getting a little bit mad, huh? Yeah, he's getting a little bit mad that I'm uh, that I'm destroying your little fishy bot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm getting way overconfident now. Any second now, we're gonna wind up with. There we are. Right. Get the maximized damage in there. There we are. And ladies and gentlemen, any second now. And he's down again with a second trophy. Oh my gosh. Right. You know what? Once again, I am literally just gonna wait. And you know what? I'm also gonna go ahead and use my other four minute buff potions here. There we are. I just realized I haven't even been using this bad boy. Whoop. There we are. I mean, any damage is good damage, right? Yeah, all right. Let's do a little bit of that. Our health is maximized. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to 3 nil. okay? A clean sweep, 3 nil. Let's freaking go. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's do this thing, man. We're looking for 3 nil. okay? What do you guys think? Can we get the hat trick? That's the real question. Come on, 3 nil. let's go! Let's freaking go, dude! Oh, man, it's been a while since I've been that hyped. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, words don't cover it. I told you, man, words do not cover it. I normally have an enormous amount of difficulty with Duke Fisher on in expert mode. That is why I'm just so hyped that I managed to do it first time. And first three times, more to the point. <laughs> Oh, that's so great, isn't it? That's so great, dude. That's so freaking great. Right, okay. One final thing to do in today's episode, aside from going ahead and opening up our beautiful treasure bags that we have very well-deservedly gotten, uh, is, of course, to open up the dungeon chest. That is going to be fantastic. Right, we've got a trophies chest here. Let's put that in there. Uh, we've got something to put in our food chest. And we've got a couple of other little bits and bobs as well. And yeah, guys, let's freaking do this thing, man. Let's see what we get out of these treasure bags. I'm so excited to see what we get, huh? If we get the fish run wings, I'm about to be like the, like honestly, the most hyped person you've ever seen. Three, two, one, boom, boom, boom. Okay, right. So we got the tsunami. That is fantastic. The shrimpy truffle, we've got the tempest staff and the razor blade typhoon. I mean, honestly, these three are like three of the best drops. Aside from the fish run wings themselves, these three are pretty damn good, dude. Wow. Racial Blade Typhoon, of course, for a beautiful mage loadout. We've got a summon loadout that could be used for this bad boy. And of course, we get an unreal tsunami. We are going to be the ranged master. Might even be enough to take on the Empress of Light. Who freaking knows, dudes? Who freaking knows? All I know is that I am incredibly stupidly hyped right about now. <laughs> Oh, so great, dude. So great. Oh, no way! That was just laying there? Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's very, very good for the start of hard mode, but when it comes to mid towards end of hard mode, I don't really know how much I can talk for its power, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! That was that was a massive mistake there, Desert Tiger. I do not want to be taken on the freaking cultists right about now. Are you insane? Oh, my word. I mean, I probably could actually take it down, I'll be honest with you. But I just don't want to, okay? I have no reason to take on Moon Lord right about now or attempt to. I mean, to be honest, I actually probably could have a really good stab at doing that. But I think it's just a little bit too early, my friends. I feel like we'd be rushing things just a wee little bit too much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so uh, the corruption chest is ice chest uh, down here, okay? Cool. Okay, right, let's get down to it. Let's get the Scourge, and maybe it'll be time to do a reforge session. Down, down, down to the corruption chest. There it is. Hey, 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 hey. No. No. I've been having none of that. Oh, oh, hey, uh, uh, the Diabolist. Hey, how's it going, Broski? Broski, Hoski, with the Moski. Get out of here, you stupid dummy. Uh, another tally counter. Whoa. Oh, no. It's a Spectre Dude. Get out of here. I don't have none of that. Right. Let's get rid of these because I don't need to mark anything anymore. And yeah, guys. Cool. Look at all these brand new weapons we have to reforge. I mean, the Ruthless Scourge of the Corruptor. That is a fantastic start and might even be something I stick with. I mean, we haven't really done too much with melee in the last few episodes, have we? We've been mostly focusing on mage and summoner and freaking uh, ranged, right? So, you know, 
Maybe it's time we do something else. Maybe it's time we change it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, probably the only thing that can top this episode off in terms of how amazing it's been is by getting ourselves some of the reforges that we're really, really looking for. For example, Masterful, Celestial, Mythical on this bad boy would just be fantastic. Uh, hey, nice. All right, Godly or something like that. Okay, Celestial, that's actually pretty good. I'll take it. I mean, I don't really care about minus speed. So let's go ahead and do this. I mean, let's be honest. It's unreal or just nothing, right? There it is. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can get legendary on this. However, it does cost rather a lot to reforge. So I am going to elect not to do anything with that. Cool. All right, guys. I think... We're just about done for today's episode. By every stretch of the imagination, one of those rare, once in a blue moon, everything goes right for the Pythonator kinds of episodes. So yeah, guys, if you haven't dropped a like rating already, I would very much appreciate it. It does help out myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. And of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. But for now, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.